Fading dialogues in and also out is pretty easy to accomplish with Flutter. We will also look at how we can do it with other widgets such as the floating action button. And therefore we can fade here for example this floating action button in and also again outside. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started by fading a dialogue in and also out. Therefore I go to my build method and here I have a button which is displayed here on the right side. And if we click on this button then we want to show a dialogue. And therefore, if we click on this button, then we want to execute a method show custom dialog. And inside of this dialog, you simply show a dialog with this method show dialog. And then you also need to supply here a context. And after it, you can create your dialog. So I create in this case an alert dialog. Then you can set here a title and also some actions. So for example, some button. And I simply call here navigator pop. And with this one, we can close the dialog again. And this will open up here a normal dialogue and you have here this button cancel which we have supplied here and with this one you can then cancel this dialogue again. And now we want to fade in and fade out this dialogue and therefore you simply replace the show dialogue by show modal and therefore you need to go to your pubspec jaml file and put here this animations under your dependencies inside. And this package basically supports different kind of animations also this fade in and fade out animation. And therefore you simply go here inside of this method and here you have a configuration and then you choose here the fade scale transition configuration and here you can then supply two things. So first of all the animation how long it should take to fade this dialog inside and secondly you can supply here the duration how long it should take until it fades again out. I've put here two seconds inside for both of them and now if I click on this button you see that it is fading in. And if I click on cancel, it fades again out. Now let's also look at how we can do this with other widgets. So you can basically do it with any widget which you have in Flutter. And in this case, we will look at the floating action button. For creating this animation, we first of all create our floating action button. And here I basically create a new method where I simply create a floating action button. And I also set here some icon for it. And now we have here our floating action button inside which we want to animate. Therefore I create here an animation controller and I initialize our animation controller. So I create here a new instance of our animation controller and then you can set here the value and I set it to zero. So initially our floating action button shouldn't show. If you later put here the value one inside then the floating action button will show initially. And secondly, we need to supply how long it should take to animate this floating action button inside and also how long it should take to animate it outside. And therefore I simply put inside of the animation controller two durations. The first one is for fading our floating action button inside and the second one is for fading our floating action button again outside. And for every animation controller you also need the single ticker provider which I put here inside. And lastly, I also want to call here this add status listener and here inside I want to call every time if our status of our animation changes the set state. With this one we will later update our UI. Let's go on and also create a dispose method and here inside we simply dispose our animation controller so that we everything clean up. And now we also want to supply here is forward animation and I simply check here if our controller status is here of the type of animation status forward or if it is of the animation status completed. And in both cases we have here a forward animation otherwise we are again fading our widget outside. And now we can use this flag here to determine our button. So we want to create here a new button. And I simply check here if it is forward animating then we want to show here height fab and otherwise we show the text on our button show fab. Now we have here this button which shows show fab initially and we also want to implement it. So I simply put here this toggle fab method inside and now every time if you click on this button then we want to fade it in or fade it out our button. So let's create our toggle fab method and here inside I check if we are currently animating forward and if that's the case then we want to call here controller.reverse and then he will animate again out. So he will fade out our floating action button and if we are not animating forward then we want to animate forward and then he is fading our floating action button inside. And this is already everything what we need for the functionality. 
Only the last thing what we need to implement is here our floating action button. So we go there and simply wrap here an animated builder. And inside of this animated builder, we put here as the animation our controller. And with this one, we basically change then the opacity of our widget. So we want to fade it in or fade it out. And to make it fade in and fade out, we take here the visibility widget, which I simply wrap around our floating action button. And with this one, you can basically set if a widget should be visible or not. And in this case, I simply check here if the controller status is not dismissed, then it is visible, otherwise it is not visible. And lastly, we need to add the animation, therefore I create this builder and here I create this fade scale transition animation, which comes then from this animations plugin. And here I need to supply two things. First of all, our controller for the animation and also the child widget, which is exactly here, this floating action button. And now we can try it out. So if I click on this button, you see it is fading inside. And if I click on this button again, then it is fading it outside. And all in all, it is pretty easy to fade a widget in and out. Therefore, you simply wrap here your visibility widget around. And then every time you simply toggle the visibility of this button. And therefore, you take here this animation controller, which then defines if it is currently visible or not. And you also can then supply here this fade scale transition or any other transition for your animation. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye!